Welcome back to HANA Basics for Developers. In the previous video, we looked at the powerful SQL script capability of Map Merge. It allowed us to create a mapper function that would execute for each record in a table, perform some additional data retrieval in, in the case of the exercise that we did, and then merge all the results together. Now we want to look at its sibling, the Map Reduce feature. It is very similar in functionality that it has a mapper table function, but instead of unioning the results at the end, it allows us to remove results. Uh, so this can be a way of looping over a large set of data and filtering or pruning some of the data out after it's already been retrieved, still in a very efficient manner uh, using uh, massively parallel capabilities similar to its map merge sibling. Look at how this works. Um, so let's create a new function. We've already learned in the previous exercise that the uh, uh, that the mapper functions are our table functions. So let's uh, create a new function and let's name it get PO average by partner ID table function. This will be our reducer function. PO average by partner ID table function SQL. Let's go ahead and bring that code in. We'll have a look at what it's doing. We're going to take in a partner ID, and we're also going to take in in a um, a table of items, which has all the purchase art uh, purchase order IDs, product IDs, currencies, gross amount, and quantities. And then we're going to return a table that has partner ID, average item price, average order quantity, and currency. And what we're going to do here is we're going to select the sum of the quantity and currency uh, from our items table and grouping it by purchase order ID currency. So we're doing, once again, to draw a correlation to ABOP, this would be like doing a collect on an internal table, uh, giving it uh, the certain group by um, uh, criteria. So we're going to summarize our quantity. Uh, so we're going to get the quantity by purchase order ID and currency. Then we're going to select uh, an average here uh, of the quantity of the of the summed uh, of the summation quantity here uh, by currency. Okay, so we're going to average them together. And then we're going to average the price together here as well. Um, and then finally, we can return this by selecting uh, certain columns here. So we're going to get the partner ID from the, imp uh, from the input parameter. We're going to put it in the output. We're going to take our average price um, and then our average quantity, our currency. And we're going to get those and, uh, and then join that together with the... Uh, the average price here and uh, we'll output that okay now we want to uh, save that we did and uh, we'll create a new store procedure as well so we'll come here create new procedure get PO average by partner ID and let's bring over my partner ID. Take that part off the end. And what we see here, we're going to take in, um, uh, well, uh, we don't need to take in any input parameters. We have an output parameter that will output the partner ID the uh, average item price, the average order quantity, and the currency. And what we're going to do here is we're going to select all the business partners, and that's going to give us a, a table of in, uh, uh, business uh, business partners. And essentially what we want to do is for each business partner, uh, we want to call this table function and uh, group it by the, uh, by the partner ID and... Uh, and then we'll add in the uh, get averages. So we're actually combining here um, the table function to to get the PO data. 
but then passing the PO data into the averages so that we don't get records unioned for every single item. Uh, they'll be pared down and averaged and, and all we'll see in our output is the business partner uh, and then the, the averages for, for each business partner. We won't have records for every one of the PO records. And then what we do want to do here at the end is because this is happening massively parallel, the records aren't necessarily being assembled or reassembled in the order in which they uh, uh, in which they came there. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> they are coming in um, almost not not in a totally random order, but they're going to come in as they're finished. And and because of massively parallel, later records could actually finish before earlier records. So one thing we want to do to put it back. Most people would expect the output to be ordered by the key, the partner ID. We'll go ahead and add an order by as we put it into the output uh, that just resort it and, and before it sends it out. Okay. So let us uh, save this. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm saved. Let's build. Okay, then we come back over here to procedures, uh, get PO average by partner ID, and let's generate a call statement for it, and execute it, and what we see here is we don't see the duplicate data that we had before where we're unioning all the results and we had the partner ID repeated over and over again for uh, each PO record. Instead, we've just aggregated those results and, and brought those together here. So we see one record per partner ID, but we see the averages of all the PO details. But once again, in a very efficient um, uh, manner here, not, not quite as fast uh, uh, because we're doing we're doing more. We're actually doing two parallel operations. We have to go get all the purchase order details, but then we have to do all that averaging to it still much faster than if we do all this multiple loops and, and a record at a time. Uh, so we, we see the efficiency here of, of, the, of the map reduce command as it relates uh, to, the, to the map merge topic that we covered in the previous exercise.